While Bitcoin dominates the current market with the biggest market capitalization, Ethereum has secured a second spot among the top cryptocurrencies for a long now. Touted as the Coca-Cola and Pepsi of the crypto space, Bitcoin and Ethereum, being the first and second most popular adopted cryptocurrencies respectively, are often compared. While many speculate that Ethereum will surely take over Bitcoin in the future, leaving the currency in the dust, others predict that it doesn't seem possible soon in any near future. Nevertheless, both these cryptocurrencies are on the rise when it comes to adoption, and so is their hype. But one has to remain on the top. Who will it be? Will Bitcoin continue to stay at number one, or will Ethereum take over it anytime soon? Hey folks, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we've decided to bring Bitcoin and Ethereum face to face to find out if the two deserve to be at the top. So if you're someone with the slightest interest, make sure you stay till the end of this video and explore the differences and similarities, if any, between the two rivals in a billion dollar market. Also, please spare a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos from our channel. With that being said, let's cut to the chase and get straight to the showdown. First things first, before we kick to the main differences, here is something for better understanding. Bitcoin and Ethereum are systems, whereas Bitcoin, beginning with the lowercase b and Ethereum, are the cryptocurrencies that run on those systems. That is why it is important to be clear whether we're talking about technology, assets, or both. For the purpose of ease, we'll be referring to the systems by name and the currencies by their stock symbols. For Bitcoin, that's BTC. For Ether, that's ETH. Having that said, here are a few things that we need to discuss in order to decide which one of them is better. Number 1. The main aim. When it comes to the main aim and design behind the project, the two systems differ entirely. Bitcoin was formed with the aim of enabling decentralized finance and encouraging an atmosphere of a decentralized payment system, while Ethereum came with the aim to enable apps and contracts powered by decentralized finance. Though Ethereum also has its native currency in the form of ETH to allow the transfer of payments and encourage decentralized finance, however, its scope in terms of design is much broader than Bitcoin. And as both systems use blockchain technology to validate and record transactions, a revolution in the way Ethereum works will translate into a whole new and different ecosystem, with consequences for speed, sustainability, and accessibility. Nevertheless, the main difference still lies in what's known as a consensus mechanism. So let's get into it. Number 2. The Consensus Mechanism A consensus mechanism in its core is a computer algorithm on which a blockchain is constructed. And in fact, it is this algorithm that keeps the blockchain viable by doctoring the right transactions and ensuring that no coin is spent twice. The computing of transactions is a very hard and complicated process, and each consensus mechanism follows a different process. Ethereum and Bitcoin both initially used the proof-of-work mechanism, but later Bitcoin remained to POW while Ethereum shifted to proof-of-stake or POS. The difference between them can actually lead us halfway through our journey to understanding which of the two currencies is better. Proof of work. In this consensus, participants are required to carry out complex computations to get a chance to become the user who gets to validate a bunch of transactions and add them to the blockchain, earning a specific amount of crypto as a reward. The work here signifies the process of validation that involves guessing, as closely as possible, a unique alphanumeric string of 64 characters. Though the process was first intended for hobbyists, as the processing power in order to get this done only increased over time, the mining process is now only reserved for companies and specialist organizations who can afford the hardware and the power needed to run it. The systems such as Bitcoin have gathered a lot of criticism for the amount of energy expended by the computer hardware involved. Bitcoin currently uses 19 terawatt hours of electricity per year, and to give you an insight, even the entire nation of Norway uses lesser than this amount. Proof of stake. The proof of stake eradicated the need for powerful computer hardware, and that made it a more environmentally friendly consensus mechanism than proof of work. The participants involved in this consensus have to stake their own money for the chance to validate transactions and add a block to a blockchain rather than carry out complex computations. Basically, proof of stake stacks the deck in favor of people with more money, and even though it protects against people adding fraudulent records to the blockchain because they'd need to stake at least 51% of the money in the network to control a consensus. 
The system is also criticized for the fact that it encourages an environment where users with stakes can manipulate the system. So, now that we have the biggest differences between the two, let us continue our quest to find the better of the two by looking at some different aspects, and that is why the third difference between the two is number 3. Supply Compared to BTC, whose number has been limited to 21 million, ETH is unlimited. This means for the BTC, this finite supply will increase demand, pushing up the value of each coin. But on the other hand, as ETH supply is continuous, it will slow down as more coins are produced. Number 4. Use Though we had discussed their use when we talked about their core principles, but very simply in terms of use, Bitcoin is money that makes it a payment method, a storehouse of value. On the other hand, Ether is a fuel that powers the Ethereum network, and for that fact, it often is referred to as gas. It is linked to smart contracts, which means it can only be traded after a set of predetermined conditions have been met. Number 5. Speed when it comes to speed, we have a clear winner here because Ethereum can verify transactions or blocks within 20 seconds, while it takes Bitcoin around 10 minutes to process each block. Number 6. Reputation When it comes to the adoption of cryptocurrency, here, Bitcoin may be the winner because it is the oldest system and the pioneer of digital currency. It is over 10 years old, it's the one cryptocurrency that even those people who have little idea of decentralized finance know. And it has established a sound reputation and is even accepted by major retailers, including Microsoft, Starbucks and BMW. So if crypto goes mainstream, Bitcoin stands a strong chance of becoming the currency of choice, unless Ethereum does something incredible to make its coin easier to use as a means of payment. Number 7. Number of Transactions In terms of recent happenings, the Ethereum network outdid Bitcoin in the total number of transactions on its blockchain in 2022. ETH Network tackled 408.5 million transactions against 93.1 million on Bitcoin's blockchain. Based on data from Nasdaq and Yahoo charts, the average daily transactions were around 1.1 million for ETH and 255,000 for BTC. So, this seems here Ethereum may have taken a good lead for now. Nevertheless, it is important to add here that Bitcoin was still the most searched cryptocurrency in 2022. Number 8. Technology Though in terms of technology, Bitcoin and Ethereum have both been moving side by side, experts tend to believe that Ethereum technology is more advanced and robust, it's faster and the transaction fees are cheaper than Bitcoin's. Moreover, Ethereum's newest technology, Ethereum 2.0, also holds a great scope in terms of further revolutionizing the platform. The bottom line Experts who compared large market cap cryptocurrencies in Web3 like Bitcoin and Ethereum concluded that ETH has a better underlying economic model when compared to other assets. Projects and protocols in Ethereum's ecosystem with the token economics, real value, and right product market fit could add new features and earning opportunities and continue to gather interest from investors. On the other hand, many other analysts say no one can ignore Bitcoin's worth in the overall adoption of the digital currency system and the fact that it has managed to stay at the top all these years means it surely has something about it. What do you guys believe? Who is the better of the two? Let us know in the comments below. This marks the end of this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as you enter or leave. This will only take a microsecond but will significantly boost the YouTube algorithm, propelling our videos to the top. See you in the following video.